Well, hello. I don't think there's anyone here yet, which means they can't see my scuff yet. Which works out for me. So, why don't I get set up quick? Whoops. Uh, let's see here. What did I do? I did something wrong. There we go. Let's see, we can turn that to that. There we go. No one's around yet, but I think we are going to get started, so we can try to start getting more of these endings. So let's head on in. Oh, so you weren't done with my bad endings, and now you're back for more. You'll have to cancel out your true ending if you want to go back to the way things were before our final battle. Shall we begin with the resetting process? Uh, sure. So we'll just reset before the true end, because I don't want to lose all the progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, we should probably look at our skill... What's this? Oh, I see. So there's an option to go back to that right away. But let's look at some of these trees here. So, the hero doesn't have too many left. Hmm. What should I do? There's the loot. So somehow I missed one here. So let's go here. We'll do resolute. We'll play as the hero. You are the hero. You think... You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary aside from the occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out. You don't get it. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. Oh, I don't know what we were supposed to do for this. Eh. Um... Um, we could just try to save this and come back to it in a second. Um, let's not do the total reset because I don't know what that does. Um, let's just try to figure things out. <clears throat> let's just. Now oh, I can't skip anything. It'd be nice if there was a way to, like, go all the way back in time before I did this. Because I don't know if I did it right. Okay. So let's see, what did I need to do for him? So the overlord needs to be antisocial. We have that. Antisocial. We want to flee from the demons. We talk with her. The hero believes the maiden's story. And then... Hmm. So I think there's one with the underling that we don't have here for some reason. So, let's do that. 
here. So he is going to be trusting. And then they're antisocial, they're obedient and resolute. So let's play as the underling. You are a demon underling in the service of the overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place, staring into nothing. You feel like you're going to go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the overlord for a day off. She gives you an earful about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. What, she, what does she know? What does she know about anything? Who made her the boss of everyone? You complain about the Overlord to your friends. They agree that she is kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off her throne. You only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow turned into an assassination plot. You should probably steer this in a responsible direction. Okay. So I don't know what to do. Let's not overthrow her. You tell your friends you were totally not serious about the whole thing. You're actually cool with, this, with the status quo. After all, life must be pretty dang good if the only thing you have to complain about is that you live so comfortably that there's nothing to do. Others nod, but don't seem convinced. You say a coup d'etat would be more effort than it's worth. But you're still going to be a rebel and sneak out of the castle. Your friends praise your mischievous ways. I think this is new. I don't know if we did this before. The change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She seems very frightened and screams for a hero to come save her. You consider your options. When the maiden realizes you are not going to hurt her, she regains her composure. Now she starts... She started talking to you like your friends or something. You don't understand humans at all. You speak the same language, of course, which has always confused you. Because why is there conveniently only one language in the world? If the demons and humans have independent societies, wouldn't it make more sense for them to each have their own language? The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line, from what you gather, is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. The Overlord asks where you found this maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you weren't supposed to. You apologize for disobeying her, but hope that the maiden is an interesting enough present that you may be forgiven. The Overlord nods and says everything's cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. You're impressed with what an easygoing boss she is. You mentioned how you can't believe you and your friends even considered overthrowing her. She gives you a look and you say, That was just a joke, of course. She smiles and dismisses you. You decide it's about time for a nap. You don't get to sleep long as your friends wake you up. Rude. Hey, at least they're not stepping on me this time. Never mind, they're stepping on me. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what their deal is. They say they're planning a whole revolution. They're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out, and being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with. That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. I don't know what I need to do. That'll kill me, so I gotta go with this option. You tell them you were just joking and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. 
You say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it is to be on the opposite end of the stick. And if this assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of Fox confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea of how they want to go about this. They figured they'd just lock her in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan. That could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of directionless thugs. Useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. They'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on, and while showy deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it's probably the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. They take off into the castle. Are they headed to the Overlord's room? Fuck. The Overlord would kill you for sure if she found out you were conspiring to take her out. You dash into the castle after the humans. Fair enough, the maidens are already frantically telling the Overlord everything. You shout that the humans are liars. Your friends soon arrive to back you up, except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. They cry that it was all your idea and that you were just going with the flow. Too scared to refuse your crazy plan. You can't believe they tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. I always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. You all shout at each other until the Overlord demands silence. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place crushed beneath my heel. She sounds tough, late, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. You hear your traitorous friends mutter something about going back to plan A and suddenly the door slams shut. You're trapped in here with the Overlord and the two humans. And the room bursts into flames. You pound on the door, screaming curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you, vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish he'd get that chance. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You were forced into the mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you would have sided with her. But the Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. Okay, so I don't think this was the right ending. So what did I do wrong? Seems like the underling and the maiden have a lot less options than the others do. I'll make him heroic and dutiful. Let me look here. So... We devour the maiden because we're hungry. We return to the castle. There's an outcome depending on the hero. So we'll be hungry. He's dutiful and heroic, so let's be the underling. We'll skip this. Let's not overthrow her. We'll gobble her up. And we'll leave back to the castle. After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sound of battle. You emerge from your room to find that a hero has slaughtered many of your friends and work associates. What a jerk. Ooh, so this is how it goes. We can avenge our fallen comrades. Who does this guy think he is? Coming in here and killing everyone like some maniac? What did we ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy driving the sword into the guard who sometimes brought you food whenever they noticed you were feeling kind of down. You like that guard. You wish with all your demon heart for th this hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite into him, tearing his flesh from bone. 
It tastes like iron. The hero struggles, you feel his sword go through you, but there is no pain, only retribution. More of your demon comrades pile onto him as your consciousness fades. The hero is overtaken. Your army has won. You have earned your rest. Okay, I think that was a new ending. Right? Yeah, it is. So we got one more, so we should try to save ourselves. Okay. We'll gobble her up. We'll leave. We'll save ourselves. You look around at the lifeless forms of those you've known as far back as you can remember. You feel glad to not be in their shoes. You also feel guilty to be thinking that as you flee the castle until you remember your role. Not as an underling, but as a demon. This kind of thing is expected of you. Maybe you'll start a new life far away from any humans or demons. We live peacefully, alone, in some deep dark forest somewhere. We got the deserter ending. We're doing pretty good. So that's everything right there. Hmm. So there's another path here. Okay, I think I get it now. So now, we do want to overthrow her. We'll gobble her up. We'll leave. What happens now? Okay, so I don't think I got anything new. There's something here. The underling confirms the plan to kill the overlord. Hmm. Something is not right here. So she needs to be a tyrant. We need to be disloyal. Gets involved in the plot to dethrone her. We devour the maiden. We return to the castle. So what if we just turn things off for the hero? Okay, let's try this again. So we'll overthrow her, we'll gobble up the maiden, and we'll leave. You're very eager to talk- or, let's see, what did I miss here? You don't get to sleep long as your friends wake you up, rude. They're very eager to talk to you about the whole kill the overlord plan. You admit you hadn't given it much thought and only just now remembered it was a thing. Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. So this is how we change things a little. Let's kill the Overlord. You tell them you were just joking, and clarify that you were totally in it to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. So is this just the same? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. Ooh, we have a new ending, finally. You sneak into the Overlord's room. She's taking a nap like usual. This is almost too easy. You silently approach your master. He looks so peaceful. Oh, so this is how we do it. Time to die. You figure the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat. So you do just that. She wakes up, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. That felt terrible. You remind yourself it was either you or her. And you weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. You leave the room to find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased. Only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. You are the new ruler of this castle. Your subjects bow before you. 
You live in fear that they will one day betray you as you had betrayed your overlord. Okay. So we got a new ending. So we have most of his stuff now. Hmm. There's another branching path right here. That's the true ending. That's a different one we can do. Interesting. So there's something right here that we haven't done. So what do I need for this one? Granted the day off. Brings the maiden to the castle. Gets involved with the plot to dethrone. She's antisocial. She's obedient, and he's trusting. Okay. Let me do the other one here first. Let's overthrow her. Gobble her up. And leave. Now, let's kill the overlord. We're gonna chicken out this time. You don't want to kill her. You can't go through it with it. You turn to leave the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit. In a panicked whisper, you ask them to let you out. This seems to have been their way of testing your loyalty. You tell them this is pretty effed up, and ask again to be left let out. The overlord stirs on her bed while your head is turned. The demon shut the door. You scramble into the overlord's closet to hide before she wakes up and sees you. There's nothing you could possibly say to explain this and survive. Wouldn't she see you, though, with her forehead eye? You're trembling. You can't believe those assholes would bully you like this. You feel like crying. Light flickers at your feet. It doesn't take you long to realize they've set the room on fire. You hear the Overlord trying to get the door open to no avail. You're both trapped. Too afraid to move, you resign yourself to your fate. You and the Overlord burn together. Ooh. So that should be pretty much all of... Yeah, the Underling only has one more ending. So we just need to... Diplomatic. She needs to give us the day off. Let's try now. We skip this, tell her to stop yelling. Okay, let's kill the overlord. <clears throat> oh, it's different. Or is it? I don't know. Let's take a look. I don't think that was it. So there's something I'm missing here. The underling is granted the day off. The underling brings the maiden to the castle. The underling gets involved in the plot to dethrone the overlord. Okay, I guess... She's not obedient or resolute then. We'll just make her polite. Or not. Let's not do that, actually. Let's do this. Tell her to stop yelling. Bring her there. Did I just skip through something? I did something wrong. How do I get this last one? He needs to be diplomatic. Oh, she needs to be possessive, that's why. Okay, let's try this now. Let's kill her. Let's see. You sneak up to the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans in there. You watch the scene unfold. You aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good of a chance as any. You want a sneak attack, getting her right in the back. She flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. 
You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. That was messier than you would have liked. The maiden mutters something from the corner. Th Thank you for saving me. It wasn't your intention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. You tell the maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. She follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle. You are the new overlord. Got the heroic en underling ending. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found the lost letter three. Okay. Yes, this is a dangerous place indeed. Nice person. Nice play on words. So I think we have everything for the underling now. So we have some for the overlord, the maiden, and the hero. So with things as they are... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, he, was, he brought the maiden and he saved the maiden, I guess. Not all the bad guys are evil. You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You are told that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone. But maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity? Who knows? You are in church. You pray to your god, asking why you have been born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the whole point of it is. You are an impatient. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. Let's just introduce ourselves. Yeah, her pouting face is pretty good, too. She's got a few good faces, like, uh... The pout, there's like a... I think she might have, like, a smug smile at one point, but I don't remember. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell them that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't have really been listening to you, which is a little irritating. If you want good expressions, this little demon boy with his smug little smile just enjoying some flowers is the best. They agree to take you to their master nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the Overlord. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. She turns out she never had any plans to capture the Maidens, or to do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told the demons would one day seek you out something awful would happen. The hero would come to your rescue. You don't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the overlord what you should do to be more suitable maiden. But she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk with her more. The Overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude. You just got here. See, there's there's your good pouty face right there. Let's see. I think we need to refuse to leave. You put your foot down and tell her you're not going anywhere. You still want to fulfill your destiny. Even if you have to make it happen on your own. She's a little frustrated at your stubbornness, but doesn't kick you out or anything. <laughs> Hooray. The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you. 
and little by little, you realize they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. As it turns out, she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. You realize that she must that must be the reason why you've never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You've always thought the demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same as humans. Yeah, the Overlord's been pretty chill about everything. They just kind of want to be left alone. You may be different, but they really... They're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was just to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you now, you think this place is far more interesting than the way things are back home. You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you've always kept your, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with the Overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. As you think that, a hero enters the room. You're surprised to see him at first until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asks what you're doing. You explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. The hero expresses his relief that the whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. Now we got the demon lord kind of pouting, she doesn't look too thrilled. <laughs> you apologize for causing trouble, but really, didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. The hero asks if you will return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. But the Overlord objects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her your plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil all after all. If you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave me no choice. The Overlord suddenly jumps the hero. She tears into him with her claws. You want to cry out, but the scream catches in your throat. You watch, because you can't look away. Had she really been lying to you all along? You wonder, is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? The Overlord approaches you now, you back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the Overlord is a horrible, horrible lay like this. Was your was this your destiny after all? Yeah, the Overlord can be a bit of a yandere given the right features. But the Overlord stops, or rather, someone has stopped her. Whatever held back your screen before doesn't stop you this time. The Overlord is being ripped to shreds by one of her demon underlings. You think you recognize them, but it's hard to tell with all the blood. Everyone stopped moving now. The room is silent, save for the underling's heavy breathing. You thank them for what they've done, even though it was awful. You feel like you've been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you, confused for a moment, but then puffs out their chest. You should probably go home. This place is dangerous. You follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. You decide to never leave home again for the rest of your life. Well, we got the Escape Maiden's ending. But for some reason that was B instead of A. So let's see... That's different. Which one did I just get? Okay, so I think it was this one. Um, hmm. I have, I have all of the underlings, so I think I'm going to try to focus on the maiden for now. Oh, 
I can't believe this. I haven't played the maiden when he's hungry. Let's skip on over to when we meet him. Since we know he's gonna... Eh, we'll be nice. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. The demon suddenly jumps you and starts biting. A lot. How painful. This plan of yours was completely stupid. You think, why couldn't you have been more patient? Why did you go looking for trouble? You aren't angry or anything, of course. This was all your fault for trusting a demon to not devour you on, on sight. This is your punishment for questioning fate. You guess. Bit by bit, you are swallowed by the demon until you are no more. Okay. Did that give me that ending? Yeah, it did. Okay. So, there's a few more. So we can meet the overlord. She needs to be antisocial. We need to leave when she tells us to. Let's start making this out right now. Antisocial. We'll be obedient and stuff, but we can change that later. Make him not hungry so he doesn't kill us. Yeah, rip the maiden. She gets devoured a few times in this game. <laughs> that or burnt alive, even when she does the right thing. It's This game's bad end theater for a reason. It's all bad endings. I'm working towards the good ending, though. There is one good ending. We got the... The bad good ending, I want to say. It wasn't, like, the true good ending. I didn't even know it was an option in the game. So we're trying to work everything up so we can try to do it correctly this time. Um, let's see here. So we leave when we're told to. He needs to be trusting. We'll remove diplomatic for now. Trusting... Main returns to see the Overlord alone, so we should leave alone. He needs to be disloyal, which I already have him on. And then there should be a few other options. So, let's try this out. Hello, I am the Maiden. Will you take me to the Overlord? Let's see. I think I'm supposed to leave. You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home. Along the way, you encounter a hero. He asks you what you're doing. Don't you know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? You explain everything that happened. He's very surprised that the demons don't seem to be as malicious as you were raised to believe. The two of you return to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. They had all been so worried and are very glad that the hero brought you back. You quickly set the record straight. You weren't rescued because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers seem confused and look to the hero for an explanation. He tells them he only ran into you on his way to the castle and that this isn't really his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the overlord and that she's not actually interested in capturing maidens or other mean things like that. The villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. You feel a little miffed that they seem to prefer his word over yours, but you don't say anything about it. Hey, this is the perfect pouty face right here. She's angry for you, nice person. <laughs> the hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go talk to the demon lord himself, just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers, you hear words like trickery and demon synthesizer being thrown around, which makes you frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone's this hesitant to believe you. Does the hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. An old man implies the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous until the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. Because of course... If you were conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by monsters. The hero isn't saying anything. 
You'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the Overlord, not your fellow countrymen. We're going to leave on our own. <laughs> you can prove yourself without anyone's help. You make a run for the Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. A suspicious group of demons stand just outside the entrance. We're talking about assassinating the Overlord. They immediately notice you overheard them. The underling you recognize from before is, is the first to do something about it. This is the way it has to be. The sun <laughs> they suddenly attack you. In that moment, you regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. Ooh, that's a new ending. <laughs> We're getting up there. We got 30 of the endings now. Um... <clears throat> So we did it right there. Hmm. So... Hmm. Somehow there's something else that that minion can do to get us a different ending. We'll make him a coward. I think that should do it. <clears throat> so let's go through this again. Let's obey her. Leave on our own. Okay, didn't help. Hmm. What if he's not disloyal and he's a coward? Uh, introduce yourself. Obey. Leave on your own. Okay. As you get closer, do you start to notice a tower of black smoke darkening the beautiful blue sky? The castle is engulfed in flames. What in God's name could have happened? You scan the fleeing demons, but the overlord isn't among them. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. You quickly reach the overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fists against the door helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you've forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick, you can hardly breathe. You realize you haven't got much time left now. You desperately head towards the stairs to save yourself. But the fire spreads faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke. A maiden saving the Overlord? If you just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. You let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Okay, that's not the right ending either. Yeah, things get pretty sad. So what am I doing wrong? It shows a... There must be some other option for the underling that I haven't discovered yet. He's trusting. So I think I need to do this combo to get another option, maybe. So... We need to be granted the day off. So that's good. That's already done. Uh-oh. Well, give me a second. I hear a commotion with some cats in my house, so I will be right back. But while I'm away, if you want to look at this uh, blueprint here, you can, nice person. Maybe you'll see something I haven't, but I will be right back. Thank you. 
Alright, I'm back. Time to get back into this. So... There must be some kind of... Ending for the... Yeah, for him. So we need to... Bring the under... The main to the castle. Be disloyal. She needs to be antisocial. She needs to be obedient. And he needs to be trusting. Trusting, obedient, antisocial. We got all of those. And if he's trusting... Okay. Well, let's do this. I will hear her out. Yeah, let's take care of the overlord. Let's see. You and your friends turned to notice the maiden from earlier has overheard your entire conversation. It'd be bad for you if the overlord found out about this. Um. Ooh. So that's the new option. So. Let's toss her in the dungeon. You and your friends seize the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty, save for the decorative skulls. They're only there to make it feel more spooky. The maiden is very upset. You leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. But now a hero has arrived at the front gates. He's asking about a maiden. Perhaps the very one you just locked up? The gatekeeper, who must have seen everything, tells the hero exactly what happened. One idiot. You think, why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? The hero yells, prepare to face justice. And other such cliche hero lines before during it, driving his sword into the gatekeeper's torso. You're small compared to the other, a lot of your friends, so you're able to slip away without getting cut up by the sword. You get to think, if this hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. You wait for things to die down from outside before poking your head out. You spot the Overlord and the hero locked in battle. They've worn each other down, making this very easy for you. Once an opening presents itself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? I couldn't... <clears throat> couldn't you tell this was a duel? You don't respond. You have to carry out the assassination. You tackle her and rip her to shreds with your claws until she stops moving. You finish off the hero next. You can't let him revive and come after you, after all. Kind of cheap victory, but it doesn't make any difference. Excuse me. Anyone who managed to survive comes crawling out of their hiding places. You are the new ruler of this castle. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you, as you have betrayed your overlord. Okay. So... So now he's got four options. So if I play as the Maiden, we'll get captured, right? So we will obey her and leave. Leave on your own. We immediately knows you overheard them and decide to lock you in the dungeon before you can cause any trouble. You cry out, but the demons ignore your protests. You can't believe you escaped possibly being thrown in a cell back in your village, only to be tossed in this awful place. This is terrible. Who's going to keep those demons from harming the Overlord? You hope she can fend for herself. You sure can't. You hear the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside. Did the hero follow you? If he's out there, your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. You continue to wait, but no one comes for you. Unable to escape, you rot in that cell. Okay. So I think the maiden has one more option somewhere, but I don't know how to get it yet. Um... That's an unfortunate number for the maiden. Uh, let's try to fix that. 
We got those bad endings. So the last two for her. Meet with the meets with the overlord. Stays with the overlord. He's dutiful and heroic. Okay. So he's gonna be dutiful, heroic. She's not gonna be antisocial. Um is there anything else? Hmm. Doesn't say anything for the underlings, so we'll just make him nothing. So let's try this. So we introduce ourselves to see the overlord, but then a hero barges into the room. Its clothes are stained by a dark liquid. It's dripping from his weapon, too. You realize it must be demon blood. Something horrible has happened. The hero suddenly dashes towards the overlord, sword drawn. Hmm. So that's how we get the next option. We'll protect her. You selflessly throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. It's funny. You think you never could have imagined this would be the way you die. The roles are switched around, but it feels right to you somehow. You are glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out alright for your new friend. Oh, the sacrificial maid ending. It's so nice. So she's only got one left, and I'm assuming if it's if she lets the demon lord die. Introduce ourself. Do nothing. The hero's blade pierces the overlord, and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The overlord is slain. The hero smiles and holds out his hand to you, saying it's time to go home. His glove is drenched in blood. Hesitantly, you take his hand. The hero guides you through the castle, past the corpses of his enemies. You try to keep your eyes at your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes, but even then, you can't escape the smell. All of this was because of you, wasn't it? You exit the castle, and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the hero's great triumph over the demons. You feel sick, but you take part in the festivities regardless. The Complacent Maiden Ending A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. He found the lost letter number two. Well, I think that should be all the Maiden's Endings now. So... Hmm... I think we should probably do the Overlord and the minion, or not the minion, the hero, while we have it like this. Let her stay for a while. Oh, I went through too much. You can't tell if she likes you or not. It's then that you notice the sound of battle has started ringing through the hall of your castle. The maiden is getting nervous, but you reassure her it's only your underlings roughhousing. No big deal. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that. Your army will take care of it. It isn't long before the hero bursts into your room. But he shouldn't have been able to make it here. Why didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As the maiden speaks to him trying to explain the situation, you move past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servant's bodies and pieces all strewn about your castle has really taken it out of you. The hero did this? There's so much blood. Why? Did he come for the maiden? Did he think that she needed rescuing? There was no one for the human, the hero to save here. There was never any harm meant for anyone. You were meant to just be talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? You feel a sharp pain in through your back. 
You look down to see a blade protruding from your chest. Oh, that was careless of you. So this is how you die. Stabbed in the back by some cowardly hero. What a joke. You're supposed to be the ruthless one. That's right, humans can't be trusted. Not if this is what they're capable of. You should have remembered that before letting one in. You watch as the hero takes the maiden's hand, leading her through the sea of corpses he had left in his wake. Captured by a demon. At least she got what she came here for. You join your army in eternal slumber. Oh, the slain overlord. Let's make her jump in front of him for us. So we'll skip everything for now. Let her stay for a while. The maiden shouts something behind you. As you turn, just in time to see her throw herself in between you and the hero's blade. It pierces her chest and she falls to the floor, lifeless. As the pool of blood beneath her grows, so does your rage. This hero has taken everyone from you now. You lose control. And the hero is obliterated. But your hatred for the humans has not yet been sated. You go on to destroy them all and become ruler of the entire world. Okay. Getting closer and closer. So the Overlord's only got two more endings. But before I do that, let me play the hero. Let's see. So if we skip this, we slaughter them. Then we destroy them. Ask the maiden what's going on. Let's see. Let's stab her while we can, I think? You lunge forward to put an end to the evil overlord. But your blade pierces the maiden instead. She has sacrificed herself to protect this demon. It takes you a moment to recover from the shock. The overlord wails. Why did you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you. The Overlord strikes at you in a vengeful rage. You parry and she is slain. Your sword feels heavy. You look at your hands, your clothes. Blood. So much blood. You look to the fallen maiden, wondering what to tell the townspeople. Why would she protect the Overlord? She must have been brainwashed by the demonic magic. You pick up the... Overlord's head wrapping it in your cape. You begin your long journey back to town. You will say that you were too late, that nothing could be done for the girl, but the Overlord is slain. There will be a celebration. The loyal hero end. So I think that ad added one to him, right? At least I think so. <coughs> Yeah, because she jumped in front and saved the demon. Leaves the mating story, trusting this loyal captor. Alright, I didn't do that one yet. Um, let me do the, the demon lord stuff first, though. So, we want to be a tyrant. He needs to be hungry. Okay. So, hungry. Tyrant. And then we awaken. He needs to be disloyal. And then Hero needs to be trusting. Loyal. Okay, I think that should be all I need for that. We're gonna be a tyrant. <sighs> You're awakened by one of your underlings. They've brought you a hero who inquires about a missing maiden. You tell him you don't know anything. Humans never really visit this place. He believes you and goes home. To your surprise, you figured he might try to fight you. But you're glad to get back to your nap instead. 
until you wake up to something completely unexpected. One of your underlings is tearing your throat out. You try to struggle, but you can't... You can tell you've already been mortally wounded. What have you done to deserve this kind of ending? You curse at them, choking on your own blood. You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Okay. So I assume... The other one... Wait a second. Hmm. Something isn't adding up here. Oh, that's what it is. I see. Captor. Okay, let's try it this time. Tell them to get back to work. Oh. That didn't go quite the way it was supposed to. He was hungry, that's why. Okay. <clears throat> Tell them to get back to work. You thought you had told your underling to do their job, not drag strangers into your room. Looks like they took an unauthorized break for away from the castle. You scold them, but ultimately, you're a little interested in the guests, so you let them off easy. That underling's not so bad. It's a maiden from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impending capture, so she's come here to speed things along. You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough? How can I become more maiden-like? You don't really understand the question. You think that this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk? Go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. The maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stay and talk with you more. You feel a warmth inside, and she looks as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. You wonder what to say. Tell her she better go home. Okay. Uh-oh. I think something's not quite right here. You've almost fallen asleep when the maiden and the hero burst into your room. Frantically trying to communicate something to you. You've told the, that a group of demons is plotting to assassinate you. You're not surprised. How nice of the humans to care, though. Yeah, so everything will change depending on what all the characters do. So that's basically how we're getting all these different endings. So we're trying to get all the rest of these bad endings, so that way we can get the... The good ending, per se. Okay. One of the underlings barges in next, shouting that the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons, crying that everything was that first underling's plan. Everyone is shouting over each other now, and it's very annoying. You yell for all of them to shut their traps. You have no doubt that their servant, that your servants would let their ambition cloud their judgment and lead them to try and take your throne. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed on beneath my heel. Saying that made you feel very overlord-like. You aren't sure if you have the strength to back it up, though. Lately, all you do is sleep. The group of demons start muttering something about going back to plan A and suddenly slams your door shut. You, the maiden, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. The underling pounds on the door, cursing at their friends for betraying them. The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. Okay, so I think we've already done all this. So this is how you'll die. Burned alive in your own room by those you fought. Thought you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. 
You're so filled with anger and frustration. You don't even notice that you've grabbed the underling. Those traitors blamed everything on. They cried for mercy, saying that they would have been dragged. They were dragged into this plot, knowing they would have been killed if they took your side. They cry that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. Hmm. We'll forgive them. You released the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You all burn together. Okay, so I messed up the ending somehow. So, how did I mess this up? Hmm, so, let the underling have the day off. Tell the maiden to go home. The maiden is obedient. Which can lead to the Overlord Awakens. Oh, we have to do it this way, though. Right? I don't get it. How do I get this last one? Hmm. Let's make him hungry. Is this loyal? Heroes trusting. We could be a tyrant, or we could give him the day off. It says that it should still follow that tree path. Wakens, coward. Wakens, disloyal. Understand how I did it wrong. Because how can we get to the hero if when he's disloyal he kills us? Hmm. Interesting. Let's try it again, I guess. Give them the day off. You're awakened by one of your underlings. A hero wishes to speak with you. He inquires about a maiden who is rumored to be here, but you've never seen her. Humans don't visit often, or ever really. As the hero takes his leave, you wonder why he totally trusted you there. Heroes traditionally kill demons. This guy seemed like he had was bad at his job, in your opinion. Whatever, you're still feeling sleepy, so you, you go right back to your nap. One of your underlings is tearing your throat out. You try to struggle, but you can't... You can tell you're already mortally wounded. What have you done to deserve this kind of ending? You remember now. You gave this one a day off, and this is how it repays you. You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Okay. So I think that should... No. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. <laughs> That's the mystery. I don't know what that last one is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Trusting. Soil captive. Resolute. Disloyal. There's two endings right here. You might be right, but... It shows that she can die to go this way. To get here. We can change it, though. We'll make him not hungry. He'll be disloyal. I'm almost wondering if Captor would be it, but it wasn't shown on the tree. Hmm. Because he needs to be disloyal. The hero needs to be trusting. But what could I be missing? Wakens. 
It even shows, like, the maiden could just show up. She just needs to be obedient. So, let's take a look again. Okay, let's just go from the start. Begins the story. It can go either ways. We'll just give... We'll not give him the day off. Tell the maiden to go home. The maiden needs to be obedient. We will... Mm. So if she's obedient... We awaken. He is disloyal. And then the hero is trusting. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. See if it works. <clears throat> Get back to work. Go home. Nope, go home. Here we are, here we go. You wake up to the sound of battle. A hero is cutting through your army. As the overlord, it's your job to take charge in these kinds of situations. You rush out to the end, this hero's pitiful existence. Vile demons. I shouldn't have believed for a second that you were anything but pure evil. I'll exterminate you all. You don't really get what he's going on about, but you engage regardless. A girl's gotta defend her people. You clash again and again, but the hero isn't going down easily. You're both dangerously low on health, waiting for the other to make a move, when one of your underlings appears behind him. They knock the hero unconscious. You kind of appreciate it, but can't they see this is, was a duel? They don't respond. You sense murderous intent. Your servant tackles you, tearing you apart from their claws. You struggle to retaliate. They've done too f far too much damage. You can barely move now. Your blood is everywhere. You can't believe this has happened to you. Why has this happened to you? You have... You have been slain by your own underling. Okay, we did it. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtains. So we got lost letter four. So we're doing really good. There's only two, uh, three more endings now. So... Yeah, once we get the last lost letter, we can read all of them too. Let's see... Trusting... Resolute, disloyal... So we need to do this where she's antisocial... Flee from the demons, obedient... Obedient... Antisocial... Um... You talk... The hero believes in the maiden's story, so we're trusting... Disloyal and captor. Okay, let's try this. Believe like a coward. Believe her story. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you. Even though her story is kind of hard to believe, you feel you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about the demons all along. The townspeople must be informed of this immediately. The two of you return to the village. They had all been so worried, they praise you for your bravery. <laughs> but, but the maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers look to you for an explanation. You politely inform them it wasn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains that the overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens, or anything of the sort. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle in how they trust the maiden's story. You totally believe her, but to placate their fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy here thinking what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet up with the overlord immediately and says they'll all keep an eye on the Maiden until you return. You figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? 
You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maiden on her own. But suddenly, she takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were going in this together. Her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already. But that doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear up this misunderstanding. You violently dash after the maiden toward the overlord's castle. When you reach the gates, you ask the demons if you've, they've seen the maiden. They have. They inform you that she's been held in the dungeon at the moment. She trusts them and in return they lock her up? So the demons are truly evil beings after all. You demand they take you to her, but they do not let you pass. They should have expected as much from these unreasonable creatures. You know what you must do. You thrust your blade through the demon before you and rush the castle alone. You're the only one who can save the maiden now. What the fuck are you doing killing all my soldiers? The overlord is angry and you vow to exterminate her and all her demon kind. You clash again and again, but the overlord isn't going down easy. You're both dangerously low on health when... Everything goes black. Your quest has come to an abrupt end. The unlucky hero ending. Think the girl is dying when she shouldn't... Oh, that was from earlier. Well, we got that ending. Yeah, so that did well. So now... We just have two endings here. Yep. So there's just two endings left here, so... She needs to be resolute. You're trusting. Um, what else? Antisocial. Please from the demons. Obedient, we talk. We trust her story. Resolute. Disloyal. So let's make him just disloyal. Flee like a coward. Believe her story. When you make it to the castle, you spy a group of suspicious demons hanging around near the entrance. You can't hear help but overhear their conversation. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. This proves to you that the demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this. You don't understand what the maiden is thinking. This world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. Those are the same creatures have just noticed you eavesdropping. The maiden takes off into the castle. And you have no choice but to follow. You burst into the overlord's room. The maiden frantically tries to communicate what you just overheard. A demon underling barges in, calling you liars. It's followed by the group from the entrance who shifts the blame back onto the little one. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? They begin shouting. You begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves into noise until the overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. The overlord is no better than her subjects. You grip your sword tightly. If you have to cut through everyone here to get this maiden to safety, you certainly will. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the runt of the litter behind. You glance around the other for another exit, but there isn't any. You have what a terrible feeling about this. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? The underling pounds on the door, upset that it's been betrayed. You join it, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. She thrusts her claws into the underling's chest, and it lets out a horrible scream. You back away, sl slowly. You won't be the next target of her rage. She continues to dig and twist her claws into its limp body. You can no longer watch. You look to the maiden. She's crying, her hands clasped together in prayer. Do you have faith in a time like this? You envy her. The two of you, the overlord, and the underling's corpse are all consumed by flames. Okay. So, 
one more ending, and then we'll get the true ending. So, now we just need her to be merciful. Flee like a coward. Believe the story. Okay. Is she going to kill it as retribution? It continues to cry and make excuses, but the Overlord does nothing. To your surprise, she lets it go. As demons, are demons capable of mercy? I guess it doesn't matter now. You all burn together. The true hero's end. The letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found the lost letter one. So now we have all the letters. So let's read them all. My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? For them to force us apart like this, it's unreasonable. Cruel. To find an outlet for this grief somehow. So I decided to write, and I'll keep writing, until the day you find me once more. And then, maybe we can write a story together. I'll be waiting for that day, forever yours, tragedy. Aw, so tragedy was split up from someone. My love, I've finally fulfilled a childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's right, I've opened up my very own theater. You would be so proud. If you could only see it. I know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side on opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you, but I thought if my theater could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it. Wherever you are, forever yours, tragedy. My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come to my theater, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd-pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you again soon, forever yours, tragedy. So, tragedy must have had someone very close to them. My love, do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts, one I was quite proud of. In fact, as I read it aloud, you happened to pass by it. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so rude. You wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet, you managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However unrealistic that felt, I look back fondly on that day. Even now, I wonder if, somewhere, you're thinking of it too. Forever yours, tragedy. Yeah, they're not happy stories. But, now that we have everything, we can take on the true ending. So, give us one second, and I'll get to that. Okay. So, let's get into this. It can't end like this. You want to answer the Maiden's prayers, you've decided to find a way to save everyone. But retracing the paths you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really nothing you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end? There's nothing you can do by acting from within their story. Maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. You ready, nice person? Everyone is on fire from that true ending. The Overlord is burning. The Underlearn is burning. The Maiden is burning. And the Hero is burning. So we are question mark. 
You boldly insert yourself into the story and use your incredible power to warp everyone to safety. You didn't know you could do that, but what's going on here? You take a moment to get a good look at yourself. You are... you, but why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you move past it. The hero, maiden, underling, and overlord have been staring at you too. They look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What will you say to them? Hi guys, or I've come to save you. What do you think, nice person in chat? What should we respond with? I'll leave this decision up to you. And while I wait for you, I'm gonna eat some jelly beans. Mmm, jelly beans are good. I got a bunch of the sweet tart ones and they are super, super good. The high guys option? Okay. Hello everyone. You smile awkwardly and introduce yourself. The maiden is the first to respond. My prayers have been answered. You must be... Her god? No, you're merely the player. If there was any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing games go. Now you realize what the real true ending must be. Now, 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 enough of this. I admit I've been encouraging you all along, but a self-insert story? How passe. You watch helplessly as tragedy descends from the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way into the stage, did you? I am the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me tragedy if you'd like. Darkness envelops your party. You don't mind if I send each of them back to relive one of their many bad endings, right? You are alone in darkness with me, tragedy. I sincerely hope you have been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I cannot abide you stealing the show without permission, it's quite disrespectful. What do you think, nice person? Are we sick of these bad endings, or do we want to see something new? gone through 41 bad endings but we could also see something new mm. man I really need to get more jelly beans I love these Something new. <laughs> yeah, I wish the devs would make a sequel as well. I want to see something new. Are you trying to say my bad endings have gone out of style? You have some nerve. You think defeating me might just be the only way to see a better ending? It's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well... This does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you've got. Time to fight God. The stage is set for you and your final battle against me, the God of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Well, let's defend. You try closing off your heart to protect yourself. But it doesn't make you feel any better. Oh, is that all? You'll never defeat me like that. Excuse me. Wait, let me try that again. Or, you're right. You're right. Perhaps you don't understand. 
just how outclassed you are here. Behold my beautifully tragic tales. Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? You witness all 41 of my painstakingly crafted endings. You must be as much of a masochist as me. I commend your thoroughness. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. They're still suffering backstage, you know. It's a shame they couldn't make it here, to the end of the world. That's right. You came here to save them. You can't do this alone. Well, let's summon them all. You find the hero in his home, hunched over a sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor fella. Are you some kind of demon? You explain no, you're not a demon. You're... how can you explain it in a way the hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, this? I craft my own hero gear. You sense his pride in his hobby. You wonder if the costumes are what attract him to the hero role. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. You remember the state of your body and decide that yes, some clothes from the hero would be nice. He is overjoyed by your answer. Apparently his outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk, so no one else wants them. The true end for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I could make a living as a tailor rather than a hero? Please, tell me what I have to do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero has arrived. We really couldn't have a final boss battle without him. You're the one who's been killing us, murderer. I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. <coughs> we'll summon the, hero the maiden next. You happen to find the maiden as she exits the church, her heart set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing, she approaches you having already taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me, are you a traveler? I've never seen anyone like you before. You explain no, you're not a traveler. Well, maybe you are in a sense. You've come all this way. Hey, Polly. Thanks for the follow. You here to see the true ending? We finally got everything we needed to get to it. The maiden regards you with excited curiosity. Then perhaps you might be a demon? I was hoping I might meet one one day. You think of all the terrible fates that would bring about this. She is the catalyst of the story, after all. Oh, this is, um, Bad End Theater. So, basically, there's four characters, and as you play through all of them, you can make different choices, and it affects how everyone else acts. And we finally got all the bad endings, so we're about to try to make a good ending. My role as a main is to be captured by the Overlord. You see, I've grown so tired of waiting. You remember this part. She wanted to be understood by her role better, and so... You ask what it is that she's really hoping to gain from this. The main is curious, confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. The true end for the maiden has suddenly become clear. You offered to change her fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please guide me. The, ma the maiden will now fight alongside you. What is this horrible creature? You wound me, dear maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. Hey, Kage. Glad you could make it. We're about to have the actual true ending. Then this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. <laughs> I have 41 HP now. Now it's down to 34 because I've been attacked, but I have it all. 
You approach the gates of the Overlord's castle. The w underling is on guard duty as you expected. Little... I forget what you call it. Is that... Um... Boba or... What did you call your slime fox? I don't remember. Oh, wasn't it Bobble or something actually? I think it was Bobble. They call out to you. The other demons on guard sound asleep. Hey, you're pretty weird looking for an intruder. What do you want? You explain that no, you're not an intruder, although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. You tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from the boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. It'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to be carefree, have a carefree life, and never get bossed around or picked on. You think of the underling's friends who had bullied them into an assassination plot only to betray them in the end. If they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. The true end for the underling suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate. So there's a way to even... To, that even work can be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. The underling will now fight alongside you. Wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle. The underling, hun. You must be desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. Huh. If I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Okay. Now we just need to get the Overlord. You enter the Overlord's room, leave to see the fire contained to the torches on the wall. When you close the door behind you, the Overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? You explain no, you're not here to serve her. It's more like you come to do her a favor. You ask why she spends all her days sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She laughs in response. Many of my uh, underlings certainly think I should be more aggressive with the humans, like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. You can't help but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new backstory. I have no interest in waging war on the humans. I merely wish to be left alone to live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. You realize she must actually be very lonely, only surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. The true end for the Overlord suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I will follow you. The Overlord will now fight alongside you. I see. So this is tragedy. Ah, you brought the Overlord. I don't stand a chance now. You prevented me from attaining peace for long enough. Prepare to die. <laughs> I hope you are prepared to face your deaths as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Okay. <laughs> now that the whole party's here, can you solve my final puzzle? Which combination of behaviors will open the path to your true ending? Show me. Well, let's have willpower. Your reign of terror ends here, tragedy. If I refuse to give in, the hero uses willpower to overcome tragedy. <clears throat> tragedy is reeling. It's hope for the maiden, right? Our true endings do exist. They simply must. The maiden hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Knock me down and I'll just come back stronger. The underling uses the 
tenacity to overcome tragedy. <clears throat> tragedy is reeling. Brutality. The Overlord tries to fight tragedy with sheer brutality. Oh, has violence really been working out for you so far? I'll show you my own brutality. <clears throat> oh, that was wrong. Whoops. I'll reach my true ending with my own power. The Overlord uses ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. This is it. With everyone's hearts united, you take aim towards your best possible futures. You all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. We killed him. <laughs> You've done well. You've managed to defeat me. A tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it. I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Thank you, hero. Thank you, maiden. Thank you, underling. And thank you, overlord. Enough of this nonsense. We defeated you, so die already. Don't worry. I'll be making my exit shortly. Finally, thank you most of all. We couldn't have made it here without you. Yes, my bad end theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagging you, antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it? I wonder. I'm satisfied. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Happy ending shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. But you've entered this one. Here's your true ending. Now we get the special songs and everything. To the lost the gold bunker seats, everyone welcome to bed and theater where the, the curtains close. You know, way stronger, and maybe you'll break. Not my fault, you saw this pain. Share in my misery. They're all eternity. With end of suffering. Hey, Alexian. Glad you could make it. With my favorite Kage emote to bat. So I think the song might be longer now. Playing all alone. Searching for my lost love, they built towards bed and theater, and if the plays were gold, so felt this warmth from them, isn't that strange? And help thinking of your face, and all your tragedies, like happy endings, and all our suffering. I miss you, my darling. Our true end. But it's not over yet. We got all those pages. Something's missing. Ooh, we did it this time, yay. Oh, you're still here. The curtain has closed for the final time. And shutting down my theater. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell, after all. Mm. What should we do? Should we ask him for a story? Or should we say that there is one more? <clears throat> what should we do? Meanwhile, I'm just eating jelly beans while I wait. <laughs> I 
I also think it would probably be better to ask him. Uh, it's too bad we can't save. If we could save, I would do both options. Let's ask him for a story. Me? You'd like to know why I started this theater? <laughs> because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. Let's remove his mask. You gently raise your fingers to the cracks in my mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart into your hands, revealing... It was a woman! I should have warned you, this might affect what you think of my stories. You can't help but compare my face to the Maidens. I'm not her, but it's not like she isn't me, necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. Yeah, it's, li it's literally the Maiden. <laughs> Wait, did I read that? Yeah, I did. Would you like to hear, an, not another ending, but the truth? Why don't you tell me? All right, one last story. You may already know this, but it doesn't have a happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there are no such thing as demons or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out to fulfill some sort of destiny. That, that part was true. She met someone, another girl. <laughs> a running theme, isn't it? The Maiden and the Overlord. The two were inseparable, and for a time, everything was just wonderful. With their families, the communities they came from, neither could approve of their relationship. That is the reality for many. This pair was no different. Despite their best efforts, the world was intent on pulling them apart. She, no, we. We used to like the types of stories where love conquers all, where the strength of your love will pull you through any hardship and everything is okay in the end. I lost her. That's sad. You can kind of see why the theater was full of tragedies now. <laughs> All the smugs. Why are you being so smug? <laughs> and then I started this theater. Hmm. You know, this kind of rhymes, but the story does have a happy ending. <laughs> We're going to have our happy ending, guys. Huh? I was hoping to find you. Oh, that's sweet. It's you. It's been so long. I thought I'd never see you again. You always think of the worst endings. I wasn't about to give up just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? I feel like such a fool. I could say the same to you. You knew I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So of course I would be drawn to a place like this. I know, right? It's so sweet. Yes, but... I didn't think it would actually work. <laughs> Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. Hmm... I love you too. How sweet. Now truly, everyone can live happily ever after. Yes, we were the overlord all along. We got tragedy's end. I think that's the end of the game. Yeah, that's all of it. <clears throat> so we finally made it through. I like this game. I saw someone play the entirety of this a long time ago, so I knew I had to at least finish this. What do you guys think of it? Lexine, why are you licking? <laughs> yeah, thanks, nice person. Thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> yep, 
it was a pretty good story. Oh, you did. I see. So did you just randomly find me? Because I was probably the only person playing this? Yeah, I agree. The devs really should, like, make another game. Like, this is super, super good. It was very cute. I wonder... I should really check and see if the creators of this game um, made any other games. You're indeed the only person playing this. That's what I thought when I put it into the category. I'm pretty sure I was the only one playing, so. Hopefully you enjoyed it, nice person. Uh, thank you for stopping by. If, feel free to come by anytime else as well if you like my stuff, so. I think I should be getting better internet soon, so I should be able to play actual games without it looking super pixelated. So, for now, I don't know if I have any other games I can play right now. Excuse me, because um, I chose this game because it's already pixelated, so it looks just fine when I stream it. Um, I don't stream much else yet. This is my second stream. My first one was Bad End Theater about two years ago. And I just found out that I can stream this game without it looking bad, so I decided I'd finish it. Um, otherwise, um, I have a YouTube channel, nice person, if you want to check that out. Um, it's Sugarcane, but the only way you'll ever find it on YouTube is if you type Sugarcane and then put Wally at the end. Then you'll find my videos of me going insane playing Wally. -E. You know what? You're right, Lexi, and I could do some old Game Boy games. Also, thanks, nice person, for the the congrats. Thank you. Yeah, I think I want to try to lean into streaming more. It's just I have really bad internet, so it's it doesn't look that good unless it's like a super pixelated game already. But I'm working on trying to get that fixed this week, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I I highly doubt that my internet would mess up a Game Boy game, for sure. The uh, only thing is I'd have to find like an emulator or something. <clears throat> that, or I could try to play some DS games. Yeah, I hope you come by for it, Kage. I'd love to have you. Time Golden Sun, huh? I'll have to look into that one. If you send me that, Lexian, in like a DM on Discord, um, remind me and I'll check it out. And then, um... Um... Slay the Princess. I think I've heard of that one. I might have it, actually. I don't know. Yeah, I've heard Slay the Princess is very interesting, because I'm isn't like the princess evil in that game? Cause that's what I remember. Also, game is about to disappear, because I have a different game I am going to swap to. So, enjoy the blank screen for a second. Bet you guys thought I was done streaming. I have one more game I can play. Yeah, I can do City Builders too. That or I could do something like, um... Sakura Dungeon. That was always... I have yet to beat that game. I used to really like that game at one point in time. Let me see here. Okay, perfect. I have it installed and everything. Great. So give me one second while I try to set this up real quick. Um... 
So let's change this. And we'll need to change the application audio too. Okay. We are going to play The Deepest Sword. I haven't played this game before, so... So... Okay. Sakura Dungeon is... Technically... Twitch TOS okay. Because they blur things. I'm pretty... At least from what I remember, they blur things. Yeah, some of them are pretty... Yeah. Soccer games, you just have to, like, be prepared. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Let's see. I see, I need to... Oh, that's interesting. Long the dragon lies ahead. We'll get up here. Hello, dragon. Who dares challenge me? Take your best stab. Is, there a, is that a cat up there in that cage? Yeah, come, come on. Come on. Is it even in? <laughs> yeah, it's on the line. It's... Uh, it's complicated. It's something that... Uh, I, there might be a mod I can get that can censor everything properly. But as far as I'm aware, they never show anything that's like super, super bad. As far as I'm aware. So I think it would be fine. But we will see. Yeah, they probably do have a censor mod. I would assume they would at least. Let's see. I brought you back, I made your blade longer. Okay, we're gonna do it this time. The cavern looks deeper than before. Okay, what's, what's down this way? Uh-oh. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, there we go. Oh no, oh no, okay. I don't think I can go that way. You have to go back and beat it about a month ago? Yeah. <clears throat> the one time I tried to play it, um, I... Oops. That's hard to return to checkpoints. Last time I tried to play it, um, I lost my save data, so... Come on. Okay, yeah, we have to go this way. Oh. There we go. I did it. <clears throat> Dragon, I've come to slay you. And free the cat. Here to try again. I am indeed. <laughs> that tickles. Oh, they got me again. I've lengthened your blade a bit more. Careful of the weight. Okay. So now we can go up this way. Now we got a new area. Oh no. Excuse me. Oh, come on. I'm gonna struggle with this. And 
that elder wasn't kidding. It's uh, pretty heavy. Okay, I made it though. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, if you guys missed, um, let's see what you got. If you guys missed me playing um, Bad End Theater, uh, that. I didn't have the Twitch thing set up to save the VODs yet, so it's not there yet, but um, I uploaded it last night, so I should have it on YouTube soon. Okay, looks like I need to... So I think that the Twitch VOD for it should be on YouTube probably tonight. If I can, no, I probably can't. Uh, let's see here. And I didn't know this game was so tricky. F. All right. Oh no. No. Dang it. I wonder, can I? Nope. Oh no. F. hard <laughs> where'd you get that little sword gun emote <laughs> oh it's from doki bird nice sucks. This is gonna get so much harder once the blade gets longer. Oh boy, no. F. Why do I keep doing this? Only there was a way to cheese it over here. Oh, almost. Okay, F. F. No. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Yeah, that's... You're so smart, Lexian. Okay. F. The weight makes my character move more than I thought it would. Okay. Oh, F. 
And I'm terrible at this. <laughs> no! No! <sighs> Dang it. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. I'm not good at this. Come on. There we go. Oof, did it. I got this. There. Whew. Oof. What a long sword you have. That's right. Oh, so deep. I just remembered I still have Slappy Joe's from last night. I can't wait to eat that later. Yeah, the dragon's a little thirsty. But can you blame it? Do you, can you imagine when the last time that dragon's probably seen some action is? Okay. Oh boy. Come on! Okay, there we go. Sword. Oh, I wonder. Let's do this. I can't do it. I can't do it there. Let's just restart there. F. Many moons. Yeah. It's probably been a very long time since that dragon has seen any action whatsoever. F. How do I do this? Seems like this is going to be the hardest area almost every time. Okay. Whew. How do I do this? Okay. Oh no. This is very difficult. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. I should probably change my streaming category. <laughs> That way, it actually says what we are doing.
Okay. There we go. Should be updated now. Yes. Let's try... What am I doing wrong? Is the real question. How can I fix this? Hmm. Okay. F. So close. How did I do it the first time? <sighs> Me too, Lexi, and that's how I feel right now. I don't know how to do this. to do it here. No! What am I doing wrong? I was so good just to go so poorly. There we go. Fine. No. You're kidding me. How could they do this to me? So complicated. me jump. What the heck? Let's try this again. Okay. 
don't want to mess this up. There we go, finally, finally. Oof. <laughs> you would have screamed at that cut gay. <laughs> uh, well, I finally made it, so it's all good. Just gotta worm it through here. Just ever so gently. Oh, come on. Okay, oof. What the heck is this? There's no way I do this. This might be too hard for me. No! I didn't know this was a rage game. I thought I had it there. Pretty sure that's what you gotta do. Okay. Come on. F. F! I can do this, come on. Okay, restart. <laughs> yeah, the Bennett Foddy. Getting over it. Kind of feels that way currently. And it kind of works that way too, so. F! Come on. Why? Why did it have to do this? Game's so hard. How do I do this? I can't do it from this way. I don't think I'm going to beat this game on stream today. <laughs> oh! I almost had it. Okay. Come on! <laughs> yeah. Fred and Fred. F. 
I will get this if it's the death of me. F. F. If you don't get it just perfect, you, you can't do the ledge thing. <laughs> yeah? Well, that's why I'm playing it for you, Kage. Oh! No! Come on! <laughs> I thought I was being smooth there for a second. Part of the problem, so I'm sticking this too smoothly, so I'm not getting the sword in there far enough. Oh boy. Yes! No! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I had it. I had it. Please, no. Oh my gosh. Why do you do this to me, game? Sword's just too heavy. It's too big for me. What was that old man thinking giving me one of these? F. So I think I have a plan. I did it! Holy shoot! I did it! I don't know how, but I did it. We do the sacred art of the worm. Are you kidding me? That is so stupid. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose my mind. Dude, come on. I had it. We were so close, just like, I knew it was open over there, but I didn't know how open it was. Ok, 
Okay, who made it? Okay, okay. Mm, this is so aggravating. I don't think I can do this, guys. <laughs> I can't do it for now. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so tough. Okay, well. I can't do it, so. I think. I'm gonna. Call it there for stream today. We've been live for quite a while, so Ooh. excuse me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know uh had I did try. I tried and I failed. We'll I'll have to try to do it another time because I'm getting hungry and it's almost time for like sleep, so but as always, thank you guys for thank you all for coming, you know. And thanks for um Nice guy, or nice person for coming. You made my day by being the first person in here, so. Thank you guys for coming as always. This is probably going to be uploaded to YouTube to watch if you missed anything, so. With that, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully my ending screen will actually work this time when I try to do it.